بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الدرس السادس lesson number six تعرف على القاموس العربي let us get to know the قاموس العربي the Arabic dictionary واحد number one نظام الاشتقاق في اللغة العربية the way of اشتقاق which is the derivation of words from root letters في اللغة العربية John Adams يستعد للسفر إلى البلاد العربية John Adams is preparing himself استعد يستعد استعدادا للسفر for travel إلى البلاد العربية أستاذه في الجامعة يقول له His teacher in the university says to him لا تنسى Don't forget Right, so here originally This was Ten سا with the ألف مكسورة At the end But because this لا Is لا الناهية The لا of prevention Right, ordering somebody to not do something It makes the فعل after it, medzun, and because tensa has a weak letter at the end, the way you make a verb with a weak letter at the end, a fa'al with a weak letter, harf illa, you make it medzun by getting rid of that weak letter, so it just becomes la tensa. La tensa ya jan, don't forget, right? From nasiya yansa. Wa anta hunaka an taqra'a sahifatan arabiyatan ala al aqalli kulliyam. Don't forget, وأنت هناك while you are there, and تقرأ to read صحيفة عربية a Arabic newspaper على الأقل at the very least كل يوم every day. فقراءة الصحف والمجلات العربية تساعدك على معرفة المجتمع العربي because the reading of newspapers الصحف والمجلات العربية والمجلات العربية uh, Arabic magazines to sa'iduka will help you in ma'arifa knowing al mujtama the, the society, the Arab society. To sa'iduka ala tahsini lugatika ad arabia. It will help you to make nice, right? To perfect tahsin. Hassana yuhassinu tahsin. And to make something beautiful, to make something nice, it will help you making. Your Arabic language good, right? So, Lugatika, your language, and then Al Arabiya is a sifa describing Lugatika, your Arabic language, Aydan as well. John, Al Mushkilatu ya Ustadu fil Karimat. The problem of my teacher is with the words. Laqad ta'allamtu qadran ma'qulan min al Lugatil Arabiya. I've learned a large amount, a decent amount. Of the Arabic language, ولكن الكلمات الجديدة كثيرة جدا جدا. ولكن الكلمات الجديدة كثيرة جدا جدا. But the Arabic words are very very many. The new Arabic words are very very many for me. والكلمات التي أعرفها and the words that I know لا أكاد أجدها في الصحف. Here. Uh, Akadu, kada yakadu is to almost um, do something, right? It means to, to be close to doing something. So, la akadu ediduha, I almost cannot find the meaning. It's as if, you know, the vast majority of the words I find in the newspaper are not the ones that I already know. Right, this is, uh, this word is mentioned in Surah so Al-Baqarah. For example, uh, وَمَا كَادُوا يَفْعَلُونَ It talks about when Bani Israel, when they slaughtered the calf, it says they did it. وَمَا كَادُوا يَفْعَلُونَ But they're almost about to not do it. They, you know, very reluctantly did it. So, لَا أَكَادُوا أَجِدُهَا فِي الصُّحُفِ uh, I almost can't find any of the words I know in the newspapers. الْأُسْتَاذِ, he responds, الْكَلِمَاتُ الْعَرَبِيَّةُ تبدو وكأنها جديدة على المتعلم غير العربي 
وهذا طبيعي ولكن كثيرا منها في حقيقة الأمر له صلة بالكلمات التي تعلمها من قبل. It says the Arabic words at Kalimat al Arabiya Tabdu, they appear, wa ka'annaha, and it is if they, ka'annaha, here the ha, referring to al Kalimat, it's as if they are jadida, ala al nu, ala al muta'allim, on the one who is learning, ghayr al Arabi, the non Arab student. Wa hadha tabi'i, this is natural, normal, wa lakinna, but kathiran minha, many from them, fi haqiqat al-amr, in the reality of the matter, lahu, for it, meaning kathir, for many of them, for that many there is silatun, a connection, bil kalimat al with the words which ta'allamaha, he has learned them, min qabl, before. Fanahnu darasna fi al-durus al-sabiqati, anna sultata التنفيذية تنفذ الأعمال والقضاة في السلطة القضائية يقضون في القضايا التي بين الناس. So he says, so we have learned for نحن درسنا we studied في الدروس and the lessons السابقة the previous lessons أن that السلطة التنفيذية the executive authority the executive power تنفذ it carries out Al-A'mal. So here he's pointing out the relationship between tanfidhiyya and tunafidhu, right? That this is a fi'al from the same root as tanfidhiyya, which is a nisbah adjective uh, by adding the ya of nisbah to the mustar from this fi'al. So he's pointing out how that if you know the root letters and the meaning of the root letters, then it's easy to use your knowledge of sarf and the different patterns to know that this is a fi'al uh, madi, for example, from this uh, root letter, and that this is a fi'al mudari, and that this is the mustar. All these words uh, are not, it's not as if you have to learn each one of these words individually. Walqudat. The judges, right? Qudat is the plural of Qad. Qadin or Al Qadi, a judge. So Al Qudat, the judges, the Sulta Til Qadaiya, in the Sulta that is of the legal affairs, Qadaiya, right? So from the same root. يقدون, they do the fi'al uh, of issuing rulings في القضايا in cases التي بين الناس which are between the people. So all of these are different words. We have قضات, judges, القضائية, legal matters, يقدون, judge, في القضايا in cases, all of these obviously are from the same root. So John says, Naam, Naam, Afwan ya Ustad, ala hadhihi al-muqata'a. He says, yes, yes. He says, excuse me, Afwan ya Ustad, ala hadhihi al-muqata'a. On this, you know, interjection, on me cutting you off, laqad dhakkartani, you have reminded me, fahunaka mas'alatun, there is a question, ukhra tuhayiruni, that is confusing me. لَقَدْ لَحَظْتُ فَعْلًا I have noticed فَعْلًا Really, like in reality, I have noticed أَنَّ عَدَدًا That a number من الكلمات التي درستها تحتوي على مجموعات كل مجموعة تشترك في عدد من الحروف وفي الوقت ذاته قريبة من بعضها في المعنى I've noticed that a number of the words that I have studied, tahtawi ala, they are are, are made up of or include majmu'at, different groups. Kullu majmu'atin, every group, tashtariku, uh, shares in adid min al-huruf, a number of letters, 
وفي الوقت ذاته and at the same time قريبة they're close من بعضها في المعنى they have similar meanings الأستاذ he says مثله for example Dan says مثله درس درس دراسة دارس مدرسة and مدرس right so if we know a little bit about صرف we should know hopefully at this point uh, we already know what's going on here that درس is um, a mustar, right? Darasa yadrusu darsan. And darasa is the fi'al madi. He studied. Dirasa is also uh, the mustar from darasa yadrusu. More likely, what we would say is dirasa is the mustar, and daras is ismul waqir, like the name uh, given to the taking place of the mustar, right? Dirasa is studying in general, and dars is an actual instant of studying in reality taking place. So the mustar is just like the idea. Dirasa, studying itself as a concept, and dars is an actual incident of studying taking place. Dars, here is the ism fa'il, right? The one who studies. Madrasa is the ism dharf, the name of the place where studying takes place. And mudarris is the ism fa'il from bab sharrafa yusharrifu tashrifan, using the root letters from dirasa, darrasa, yudarrisu tadrisan. Same thing here, fat, fataha, fatih, miftuh, miftah, right? Fat is the mustar opening the idea of it itself fataha is the fa'al madi he opened fatih is the ism fa'in one who opens miftuh is the ism maf'un uh, something that is opened and miftah is what's called ism ala the tool that you use for opening here meaning a key same thing here La'ibun is playing, the mustar. La'iba, the fi'al madi, he played. La'ib, the ism fa'al, one who plays. Mil'ab, the ism darf, the place where somebody plays. And lu'ba, something that somebody plays with. وَأَنْتَ الْآنَ تَلْفِتُ نَظَرِ إِلَى مَجْمُوعَتَيْنِ أُخْرَيَيْنِ ما حقيقة الأمر يا أستاذ. He said, and now you direct my intention, right? From لفيتة لفيتة يلفيتو يلفيتو. So أنت تلفيت نظري. You direct. My attention, my looking, you make me look to مجموعتين, two groups, أخرين, two different groups or two other groups. ما حقيقة الأمر? What is the reality of this matter, ya أستاذ? الأستاذ يقول حقيقة الأمر يا جان أن الكلمات في كل مجموعة تشترك في عدد من الحروف تسمى في اللغة العربية الجذر أو الأصل. I believe this should be a fatha on the jim, not a kasra. What I know is jether with a fatha, not jither with a kasra. So he says, the reality is, O John, أن الكلمات that the, the words في كل مجموعة in every group تشتركوا share في عدد من الحروف in a number of letters to some that are named في اللغة العربية الجذر the root أو الأصل right جذر and أصل almost the same meaning فالجذر في المجموعة الأولى دال را سين John says إذن in that case الجذر في المجموعة الثانية فا تا Ha. So here, they're just explaining the idea of, of root letters, right? وفي المجموعة الثالثة And in the third group, الجذر هو لام عين با 
الأستاذ أحسنت أيضا كل جذر له معنى أساسي تشترك فيه كلمات المجموعة For every root there is a foundational meaning A معنى أساسي تشترك فيه That shares in it كلمات المجموعة The words in that group John says وطبعا تختلف في أشياء And of course at the same time right Even though they share in this foundational meaning This root meaning They differ in some things too right He's asking الأستاذ نعم الجذر والكلمات وكلماته مثل الشجرة The root in its words are like a tree لها جذر واحد They have one root تتفرع عنه ساق وفروع كثيرة وأوراق وأزهار وثمار وحبوب He says yes they have one root تتفرع and branch off from this right تفرع In the Mali, to branch off, تفرّع, and then in the Mudari, يتفرّع, from باب, uh, تكلم, يتكلم, تكلم, تفرّع, يتفرّع, تفرّع, branch off from it, ساق, a trunk, وفروع, and branches, كثيرة, many branches, وأوراق, and leaves, وأزهار, and flowers, وثمار, and fruits, وحبوب, and seeds. كلها تشترك في شيء واحد هو الجذر. All of them share in one thing, and that is the root. ولكن كل واحد منها يختلف عن الآخر في أشياء. But every one of them differs يختلف عن الآخر from the other في أشياء, in some things. هل أستطيع أيضا أن أقول إنها مثل الأسرة مثل الأسرة؟ Can I say also هل أستطيع am I able أيضا أن أقول to say إنها that it's like an أسرة like a family تشترك في الجد والجدة الجذر they share in the same grandfather and grandmother وتتفرع عنهما and then branches off from the two of them فروع Different branches here, which are al abnau the sons, wal banatu and the daughters, wal ahmamu and the paternal uncles, wal ammatu and the paternal aunts, wal akhwalu the maternal uncles, wal khalatu the maternal aunts, wal ahfadu wal ahfadu and the grandchildren ila akhirihi until the end of it. Right, so here. A'mam is the plural of am, your uh, father's brother. Ammat is the plural of amma, your father's uh, sister. Akhwal, the plural of khal, which is your mother's brother. And khalat, the plural of khala, your mother's sister. And ahfad are grandchildren, the plural of hafid. الأستاذ يقول نعم هذا مثال جيد This is a good uh, example كلمات كل مجموعة إذا تشترك في بعض الأشياء وتختلف ببعض الأشياء So the words in every group in that case تشترك They share في بعض الأشياء in some things وتختلف في بعض الأشياء And they differ in some things الأستاذ صحي Yes, this is correct كلمة مدرس The word مدرس مثلا For example تدل على It indicates الشخص The person الذي يدرس Who does the action of teaching Right, so this is the فعل مدارع يدرس And مدرس is the اسم فعل ولكن كلمة مدرسة تدل على المكان الذي يدرس فيه المدرس. But the word مدرسة meaning school تدل على it indicates المكان الذي يدرس فيه المدرس. 
that the teacher teaches it. In terms of meaning, this is correct, but it would be better to say it indicates the place where somebody studies, because madrasa is actually the ism makan from darasa yadrusu, not from darasa yudarisu. So madrasa is, is really more technically correct, would be to say it's the makan alladhi yadrusu darisu fi, instead of saying al makan alladhi yudarisu al mudarisu fi. Because the pattern for ism makan from yudarris will be the same as the ism maf'ul mudarras, al mudarras. Wa kalimatu darisin tadullu ala shakhs alladhi yadrus. The word daris, right, the ism fa'il from yadrus, means the person who does the action of studying. Ya'ni, kulluha tashtariku fi ma'na dirasa. All of them share in the meaning of studying. John says, وَوَاضِحٌ لِي أَنَّهَا تَخْتَلِفُ فِي أَنَّ كُلَّ كَلِمَةٍ مِنْهَا لَهَا مَعْنًا خَاصٌ بِهَا مَعْنًا خَاصٌ بِهَا وَوَاضِحٌ and is clear لِي أَنَّهَا that they تَخْتَلِفُ differ في in that أَنَّ كُلَّ كَلِمَةٍ that each word مِنْهَا from those words لَهَا مَعْنًا خَاصٌ بِهَا it has a meaning specific to it الأستاذ نعم أيضا هذه الكلمات كما لاحظنا like we have noticed تشترك they share في حروف الجذر in the letters of the root وهي دال را سين وفي الوقت ذاته and at the same time تختلف في بقية حروفها they differ in terms of the rest of their letters الأستاذ نعم وكلمة كل جذر تسمى المشتقات المفرد المشتق The words that are derived from each different root are called مشتقات Derived words المفرد the singular مشتق وكل مشتق Every derived word له صيغة خاصة أي تركيب خاص لحروفه Each Derivation has a sigha, a certain pattern, khasatun, particular for it, a tarkibun khas, li hurufihi for its letters, walahu ma'nan khasun, and it has a particular meaning bihi. Fa kalimatu la'ib, la'ib al sigha, la'ib, pay attention to the pattern, right? La'ib, fa'il, tadullu ala shakhs alladhi yal'ab. It means the person who plays, right? So here they're talking about the ism fa'il. Fa'il. La'ib. John says, إذن كلمة كاتب تدل على الذي على الذي يكتب. The word katib means the one who writes, who does the action of yaktub, right? Because it's the ism fa'il from yaktub. وكلمة قارئ تدل على الذي يقرأ. And the word qari' gives the meaning of the one who does the action of yaqra'u, the one who reads. وَكَلِمَةُ نَائِمٍ تَدُلُّ عَلَى الَّذِي يَنَامٍ Right, all of these on the pattern of ism fa'il, the one who does the action. Na'im means the person who sleeps. Sahih, correct. وَأَيْضًا مُعَلِّمٌ تَدُلُّ عَلَى الَّذِي يُعَلِّمُ وممرض تدل على الذي يقوم بالتمريض ومدرب تدل على الذي يدرب ومدير تدل على الذي يدير شركة شركة مثلا ومرسل على الذي يرسل خطابا مثلا ومتكلم على الذي يتكلم. So here he's giving you the other patterns of ism fa'il, right? So the pattern fa'il is the pattern for the ism fa'il, the name of the person who does an action. If your fi'il is thulathi, it's just a regular three uh, letter verb, like darasa, kataba, jalasa, something like that. But also here now, he's going to give you the patterns for. If it's from the abwab, mazid fi, from the 
types of ath'al, the type of verbs that have extra letters put in them, like darrasa, takallama, istaghfara, uh, right? All these, you took those regular three roots and then added extra letters. So in that case, what you do, I'll give you the simple explanation. Let's just take a word like yatakallamu. Uh, In order to make your uh, your ism fa'al from one of the abwab that has extra letters in it, first thing you do is get rid of your harf mudari at the beginning, your ya or your ta or your hamza, depending on who it's conjugated for, and you replace that with a meme, with a dhamma, and then on your second to last letter, you give it a kasra. So, yatakallamu becomes mutakallam. Mutakallam, one who does the action of takallam or of speaking. Right? Or if we take another one, like arsala yur silu yur silu. So, we get rid of our harf mudari and replace it with a meme with a dhamma and already our second to last letter has a kasra on it so mursilun someone who sins so all these are examples right mu'allimun is the ism fa'il from allama yu'allimu mumarrid <coughs> a nurse is the ism fa'il from marrada yumarridu mudarrib is the ism fa'il from darraba you darribu to practice something to train. Mudir is the ism fa'il from uh, adara yudiru to manage, and mursil right from arsala yursilu. So John says, واضح أن هذه الكلمات تدل على الذي يفعل شيئا. It's clear that these words indicate. The one who does something. Al-Ustad, na'am. وَلِذَلِكَ يُسَمَّ هَذَا النَّوْعُ مِنَ الْمُشْتَقَّاتِ إِسْمَ الْفَاعِلِ Because of that, this type of derivation of derived words is called the ism fa'il. Jan. لَا بُدَّ أَنَّ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْعَرَبِيَةِ نَوْعًا مِنَ الْمُشْتَقَّاتِ يَدُلُّ عَلَى الْمَعْنَ الْأَقْسِي لَا بُدَّ There's necessary. There has to be in the Arabic language, no an a type min al mushtaqat from the derived words yadullu ala that indicates al ma'na al aksi the opposite meaning right al aks is the opposite so al ma'na al aksi the opposite meaning. Ustadi says, ahsent ahsent laqad badatta tadkhulu fi ruh al lugha al Arabiya. You've started badatta tadkhulu to enter into the ruh, the spirit of the Arabic language. There is an opposite pattern, a pattern that gives the opposite meaning. And its name is the ism maf'ul. And you've already studied from it some words. Right, so the pattern of the ism maf'ul. Maf'ul. From fataha, yaftahu. Meftu, something open. Babun meftu, an open door. John says, in tother, in tother, wait. Da'ni atadhakkar. Give me a second to remember. Aqdun maktub, a written contract. From kataba yaktubu maktub. Shakkatun mafrusha. All of these, right, furnished apartment. All of these are examples of the ism maf'ul. Ustaz says, ahsant. We've done well. هناك سيغة أخرى كلمة مدرسة كما عرفت تدل على المكان الذي يدرس فيه المدرس ولذلك تسمى في قواعد اللغة العربية اسم المكان. He says there's another pattern. سيغة أخرى. The word مدرسة 
كما عرفت like you know تدل على it indicates المكان الذي يدرس فيه المدرس the place that the teacher teaches in ولذلك تسمى and because of that it's named في قواعد اللغة العربية in the rules of the language right قواعد plural of قاعدة اسم المكان the name of the place هل أستطيع أن أقول أيضا إن كلمات مثل ملعب ومكتب ومطبخ ومطعم أيضا اسم مكان Can I say Am I able to say that indeed words like ملعب you know, stadium or place of playing a game ومكتب office and مطبخ kitchen and مطعم restaurant They are all also the اسم مكان الأستاذ نعم ومستشفى ومحطة الحافلة ومتحف أيضا من أسماء مكان All these words also are examples of اسم مكان مستشفى from استشفى يستشفي to seek شفاء to seek healing مستشفى is the place where healing is sought محطة from حطة متحف All of these examples of اسم مكان يعني عندنا حتى الآن الجذر واسم الفاعل واسم المفعول واسم المكان الأستاذ والمصدر أيضا and also the مصدر مثل الدراسة واللعب والكتابة والقراءة والتنفيذ والسفر all of these examples of مصدرز جان مثل السفر إلى إلى البلاد العربية ودراسة هذا الدرس وقراءة الصحف كل يوم إلى آخر النصائح الصعبة until the end of all these difficult advices نصائح the plural of نصيحة الأستاذ أحسنت يا جان والنتيجة يا أستاذ and the result oh أستاذ what's the result of all this الأستاذ النتيجة يا جان أن الكلمات العربية تبدو أو تبدو لأول وهلة كثيرة وجد كثيرة جدا للمتعلم غير العربي ولكن وجود الكلمات في مجموعات حول جذور لغوية يسهل على الدارس فهم كثير من الكلمات الجديدة. He says the end result of all this is that أن الكلمات العربية Arab words تبدو لأول وهلة They appear at the first instant لأول وهلة At the first glance At the first moment كثيرة As if they are very lot, As if they are a lot للمتعلم للمتعلم غير العربي To the non-Arab student ولكن وجود الكلمات But the presence of these words في مجموعات and groups حول جذور around roots لغوية linguistic roots جذور the plural of جذر يسهل makes easy على الدارس for the student فهم كثير من الكلمات الجديدة understanding of many of the new words جان طبعا بعد أن يدرس right after having studied بعد أن يدرس لقد نسيت يا أستاذ I've forgotten oh teacher يدرس ماذا؟ Studying what? الأستاذ says نظام الاشتقاق The system of derivation والآن إلى التدريبات يا جان Now to the exercises أو جان حتى لا تنسى So that you don't forget هذا الموضوع الهام This important topic So we see this whole lesson is all about sarf, basically, about the patterns that words are made on. So here they're going to talk to you about al-mizan al-sarfi, the, uh, the scale or the pattern of the word, al asiga He says, تُقَابَلُ حُرُوفُ الْجَذْرِ الْأَصْلِ ثَلَاثَةُ الثَلَاثَةُ بِالْفَاءِ وَالْعَيْنِ وَالْلَامِ وتشكل هذه الحروف بنفس حركات الكلمة. So the mizan sarfi is basically, right? We're going to represent the pattern of this word that we have 
using fa, ain, and lam. So he'll say, so the word فَالْفِعْلْ كَتَبَ The verb كَتَبَ He wrote يُقَابَلُ بِ It corresponds to it, the pattern فَعَلَ Right, so you're just taking your root letters in your word and replacing them with fa, ain, lam to say, oh, kataba is on the pattern fa'ala. And alima yuqabalu bi fa'ila. Right, so alima to know will say is on the pattern fa'ila. Right, just replacing the ain, the lam, and the meme with fa, ain, and lam. And avuma yuqabalu bi fa'ula. Right, avuma is on the pattern fa'ula. فعل وفعل هذه أمثلة لما يسمى الميزان الصرفي. Right, these are examples of the ميزان صرفي or what we'll just call in English the pattern. إذا زاد على حروف الجذر شيء زاد نذيره في الميزان مثل أرسل تقابل بأفعل وتعلم تقابل بتفعل و so here they're just saying if we have a verb that has extra letters added in on top of the root letters then the way we'll represent that in the pattern is by adding those extra letters to that pattern as well right so arsala the root letters are ra seen and na so they're going to be represented in our pattern by fa'ain lam, and then there's a hamza with a fatha added at the beginning, so we have to add a, 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 a hamza on an alif with a fatha at the beginning of this pattern. So we'll say arsala is on the pattern af'ada. Right? So this is what uh, we've learned before as the pattern akrama. So akrama in the madi, yukrimu in the mudari, ikram is the mustar. And the nice thing is that for all these abwab, these types, uh, these patterns that have extra letters added in to the verbs, then their mustar is qiyasi. The mustar is the same for every word on that pattern. Versus verbs that are just plain three-letter verbs like kataba or alima or avuma, that mustar, there's not a particular pattern for every bab to know that if it's from this bab, it's going to have this mustar. You just have to learn the mustar individually. But from bab akrama yukrimu, it's always going to be on the pattern ikraman, right? Af'ala yuf'ilu if'alan. So arsala yursilu irsalan. Ta'allama, right? There has a shadda put on the middle letter and then a ta added at the beginning. So we have to do the same thing with our fa, ayn, and nam. So from ta'allama, we represent it with tafa'ala. Ta'allama in the madi, yata'allamu in the mudari, and Ta'allum is the mustar. Like takallama, yatakallamu, takalluman. Ta'awana, it has a ta added at the beginning for this pattern, and then an alif added in the middle. So we have to do the same thing to our fa, ayn, and lam. Add a ta at the beginning and an alif in the middle. So ta'awana, we'll say, is on the pattern tafa'ala, like taqatala. So in the maldi, taqatala. In the mudari, tuqatilu. Uh, in the madi, taqatala. In the mudari, yataqatalu. And in the mustar, taqatulan. Tafa'ala, yatafa'alu, tafa'ulan. Ta'awana, yata'awanu, ta'awunan.